Okay, so this video deals with percentage change. Usually this is given in an exam paper. Okay, um, now normally the questions will deal with how a value of a particular item or product has changed over a period of time. So let's say, for instance, that uh, I went to the shop um, a couple of years ago and I bought a painting. Okay, and here's my painting. Uh, it's a painting of a person there, got a smiley face, uh, looks a little bit more like a postage stamp, but uh, it's actually a painting. And when I went to the shop, I bought it and it cost me £200. Okay, um, over the period of a year, that painting went up in value, and here we are 12 months later, and the painting is now valued at £250. So in other words... The value of the painting has increased, and the examiner would want to know the percentage increase or the percentage change. Well, the actual change from 200 to 250 pounds is 50. So, in other words, my painting has increased in value by 50 pounds. However, in order to calculate the percentage change, I need to look at it as a change against the old value or the original value. So, my painting is now £50 and it was £200. Okay. So, the change that I have is a fraction. It's 50 out of 200 or over 200. So 50 over 200. So that percentage change can be expressed as the fraction. In order to calculate it as a percentage, I then need to multiply by 100. However, I'm going to do it as this which if you look at one of the other videos, it will show you how to use fractions in order to manipulate the calculation. And what I have here is the ability to reduce and use the principle of equivalent fractions in order to make my calculation a little bit easier to deal with. So what I have here is 100 and 200. And what I can do is I can divide the top and the bottom by 100. So if I divide the top by 100, I get 1. If I divide the bottom by 100, I get 2. So the equivalent fraction would be 50 times 1 divided by 2 times 1. However, I can also reduce it slightly further by dividing the top and the bottom by 2. So the 2 divides by 2 once, and the 50 divides by 2 25 times. So in order to produce my calculated result, I can just say it's 25 times 1, which is 25, over 1 times 1, which is 1. So in other words, the percentage change has been 25 or 25%. Okay, and that's how to calculate percentage change. Look at the difference between the old and the new price, and then look at it as a relationship between the difference and the old price. So in other words, the percentage increase from the old price. And in this particular case, it's 25%. Um, it's likely to be a grade C, grade D, uh, GCSE question. And uh, the drawing, I'm sure, will be a little bit better than the one that I'm able to achieve.